Hi, Taurus. All right. I hope you had a nice birthday. Um, if you follow Sidereal, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Taurus. Remember when you were really happy? <laughs> Are you really happy now? Um, <laughs> okay. Should we just jump in? I think we're going to just jump in. It's a real mellow day, but I want to kind of get in the pool so I can get used to the water. The air, the air is a little different than the water. Okay, let's see what this. Let's see what's in the heart of the matter, Taurus. Oh, abundance, lovely. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that little well. How cute, smiling rainbows. Okay, let's read the card. These crack me up. It says, "I'm officially due for a drink from the abundance well, and I welcome my pint <coughs> gallon of future." of good f fortune without hesitation. We just hesitated, right? <laughs> the thing is, abundance is abundant enough to be shared abundantly. So I accept life's gifts with zero guilt, knowing that there's plenty of goodness to go around. Cheers to bottomless glasses. Oops, I guess glasses do need bottoms. Sorry about your tablecloth. <laughs> Imagine if when you said something, it just came true like that. There's also a person um, that sees another as like real beautiful or attractive, intelligent. They get like a good grit about them. But they also have like a huge heart. And then I saw the word zero guilt after after I saw that big heart. Do people sometimes do do you ever love because have you ever loved because you felt guilty or respons responsible? It's like you're easing a place there's something that you're smoothing out. That's been teaching you the lesson of I keep see seeing someone smiling um, and then I see the word pain. It's like, it's like, they're just kind of like, the, I suppose something no longer affects someone anymore emotionally. So I'm seeing this also as like a wishing well. Again, if you if you just said something, like whatever you said just came true, what would you say? Let's look at the four points. Hidden synchronicity. So, okay, sometimes you can't quite see the pattern, but you can like feel the pattern, right? Sometimes you can see it, but the feeling feels a different way for you to be able to compensate in certain situations because sometimes we have to smile through the pain, right? Just be like, well, 
you know, what do they say? Like grit, grit your teeth and bear it. You know, it's just kind of like, sometimes you're just going to be like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> But then in the end, it's this, right? It turns into it's something so much lighter because, well, life is too short to stress too much, right? Um, this also has to do with K2. There's something hidden with K2. Oh, or I see. Perhaps there's something that's been hidden with, with your K2 that... Um, could even be this it could also be in addition the sign that that's ruled by like that house but there's something that was hidden about k2 that's now going to help you like put a piece together where you're like oh my god of course <laughs> of course but you have to shift your perspective of it it's it's not like you have to go super far to the ultimate like opposite of what you have Right? It doesn't have to be extreme. Scorpio, the other side of you. It, it's more of just like uh, looking left, looking looking right. Right? Think about the bull. Again, the bull generally is just one. It doesn't really look around. You know, if you look at a bird, a bird's or prayer mantises, insects and things, they're always snakes. They're always like, what's around? What's around? What's around? guess you could look at your mutable signs too in your map to help you to figure out where you look around or where you need to look around because on one, at least one side of that is going to be something that doesn't look around that much does this make sense let's see Pisces reading will be helpful it's actually a Pisces moon when I'm recording this. You're also on the same afternoon. Give me a moment, please. Okay, once you release something, it's like releasing a feeling that's been blocked. There is some, some kind of to entangle entangled thing that was also blocking you from your abundance but it was like an unconscious thing it could it could have been happening now like there's an unconscious block sometimes for you to either find your abundance or to manage your resources in a certain way or to even believe that you're allowed to have certain things because And to want things differently, right? You have to, you have to, but the unconscious is hard. So I'd say also pay attention to your dreams, um, to your moon. I suppose this is also Pisces again. Just a second, a hidden moon. So the new moon, that's the very beginning of the month, right? I guess it'll be that way throughout the probably the rest of the year now, right? Averagely. The new moon will always be in the begin very beginning of the month and the full moon in the middle. Okay. So something to think about that. The beginning you know how it's like oh, it's the first of the month, like it's like a new it's a new start to something and then by the middle of the month try to complete something. Do you know what I mean? And really ask yourself where there is it, like, if you don't know, or even if you think that you know, right, because sometimes Aquarius will, it can become stubborn. It's kind of like, ask yourself, um, oh, we did it this way, just a minute, it's a different message. Well, I keep, I keep focusing on what cannot be done instead of what needs to be let go of. 
So I guess you have to ask yourself what you need. What is blocking you? And if it ever feels like you are, you're just blocked, you can't find, you know, your creative block, your whatever, um, what, whatever the blockage is, it's, it, then you need to reinforce with yourself with words to change your feeling that, like, change the mental, change the water in the air again to come to a place of being like, okay, I have accomplished I have done this, this, and that versus I have not. Do you know what I mean? Like really watch your language if there's negative words in it at all. Unconscious synchronicity is so interesting. This reflects so much into your dream state. There's like different tiers of it. Maybe you're maybe you're finding your way out of the thicker bushes of your mind. And I suppose a good question to Taurus is what, what is, what is success to you? What is, um, I am an abundant person because, and then finish that sentence. You know what I mean? You could even do a little unconscious writing about that. That could help. I also see writing on the new moon, the full moon. Maybe you want to put some intentions in there, right? Just, or even just writing on those days or nights. That could be really helpful. You know, um, I see again. I need to release. What's the sentence? I need to release. this blocked no there's the hard way and the easy way <laughs> there's the hard way and the easy way if and whenever you come up against a block a bunch of a bunch of Mars right it's like I heard an army of your fear, then you have to try to remember that there's nothing new under the sun. Whatever you have been or are being a part of, in some way or another, something prepped you to be here and now so that you can, and then will, as you will continue to step forward right and then and then I see up Pisces reading will be very helpful how did your family deal with money or how do you relate money to your family um There's something here about child support. Because there's also a hidden, there's also a hidden feeling. That's, that's a part of it, right? But the thing is, is the albatross, Taurus, the albatross, what was that? The tunnel when you when you when you made the magical portal out of the bottom of the ocean up. So 
So I guess you also, um, this Jupiter retrograde time from, I guess that was, for, it's from Aries to Libra, right? The end of, the end of October. This is also a great time for release. I do feel as if you're going to have, your synchronicities are going to come in. Um, the South Node is going through Libra. That could also play a role in this. I also see your South Node itself. Is something where like there's a synchronicity there there's something where where you're kind of again it's like a sort of an aha but it's 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 something that you already knew it just sort of confirms it which helps you to tap into some unconscious places but once you get there you are going to have some sort of impasse it has something to do with p plants that have like thorns on them this is mars um Maybe this is where you feel threatened or where you have a memory that you're trying, again, some sort of, um, cause it's air and it's water that, that's, you have to combine to be able to, or ignore for a moment to be able to just realize what you can do and how sort of like assessing a situation and be like okay i have to get to the other side of this so what do i do or what do i need to do <clears throat> and i guess looking at that in a individual way is going to help you feel more confident so you can get the right perspective on abundance something about virgo here right abundance if you're you're a bull look at this beautiful field of wheat you know like Because I suppose Taurus has to rely on other humans sometimes, right? Or feels like that if we take it purely in the animal, in the animal form. But you're not a bull; you're a human, and you're all the other animals. And if you're curious on how to be, a, how to be, how do I see this? Well, I keep seeing Scorpio and then and then that saying like the forest for the trees, the forest for the trees. I guess sometimes you have to become Scorpio to be able to see yourself. But that's it. That's a that's a. Just a minute. I know this is kind of a weird, um, what's this exercise? Try and see how long you can go without talking about another person or thinking about another person. Just, I mean, I feel like this yourself would not be something that is included in the person. I mean, you can also think about a variance of other things, but no people. Try to see how long. Like, intentionally tell your mind what to do, right? Be in control of your mind. Be the good king or queen to yourself, right? Of your, of your miniature universe. Um... The bear. How do you feel that your childhood was sacrificed? Or I see the word jeopardized. In childhood where you, you felt like... How, what is this?
once you get through this blockage, whether you believe it or not, so much abundance comes towards you, Taurus. Perhaps for some of you, this releasing this K2 that I see, it's kind of like, it could be a part of it where it's sort of um, releasing some sort of unconscious like comfort zone that holds you in a pattern that blocks you from your the highest place in you or, or a place that feels so you don't feel lonely or the need to self-sacrifice too much I mean the only reason why they do harikari is is when one feels you ever watch those old kung fu movies movies too it's like men used to die for their honor do you know what I mean? But we don't have to, what do I see? One doesn't have to be in any particular position. You know, again, what is abundance to you? Um... What do you have abundance within and what would you Maybe some of you do have to cleanse a uh... Again, it's like a root chakra or a family thing that has to do with money or with It's like a karma thing attached to it also. But I guess remember that you're not solely responsible for that. There's no way that one person could, could do this all by themselves. Do you know what I mean? There's so many other uh, people involved in that. And so I see, remember that you are just one of the sacred jewels upon the crown of life the goose and the the goose and the horse huh I suppose some of you could also, there's some, there could be something here about a will. About what's valuable and what wants to be passed down. So there's like a longevity to the thought, right? But with great, with great, I suppose the more we have with great abundance, then the more responsibility, the more responsibility we have too, right? It's a Capricorn thing. Capri Capricorn Scorpio thing, right? Virgo. Uh, Leo. Okay. <clears throat> When's the last time you had a good time, Taurus? When's the last time you had a good time? Um, it, I just found out that in the, um, up in the mountains, they say that you never take an old broom to a new house. Because it's something you clean with, you know what I mean? So you want to leave, leave all that 
Because you're going to take the dirty with you if you do that, right? You're going to take the old or the new. But it's like, no, you can, you don't got to worry about that. You can find a new broom, right? What's that song? Let me dust my broom. It's a good song. Hmm. Interesting reading, Taurus. Thank you uh, for the chat by the ether fire. <laughs> ether campfire. <laughs> What's this one? the myth keep seeing like old vinyl something about Jamaica too or uh what's this Do we talk about the pieces just coming together? <laughs> or it's like, whoa, it's just the straight line. You're like, oh my goodness, this, this goes to that. But you already knew it, but, but abundance, Taurus, abundance. You're allowed. What do you need, I guess, helps to understand, um, How much you need of what you, makes you feel good. Sincerity. It's a beautiful card. An abundance of sincerity. That's beautiful. Well, thank you, Taurus. Magic, yeah. Pisces will totally be of service. There is sex style to you anyway. I feel like you and Pisces always get along really well, right? Although, both of you can hide what you're saying sometimes to each other. But maybe that's part of the, the psychicness. I don't know. Believing that you have what you need. Believing that you can have you can create more or differently i mean who knows maybe we can only create a certain amount of something per our souls what have you it's like well if the bucket is full then you have to take some things out right to reawaken new to plant new seeds right in that space and this goes into the vessel i think that pisces was talking oh beautiful okay Thanks, Taurus. I hope this was of service. I really do. I've been wear I wear I've wore pink for you before, right? It's such a weird color. I would never wear this color back in the day. What was that band? Pussy Riot. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm I'm into their uh, lyrics so much anymore. I feel like the the feeling of that music is good, and I like their outfits. But values and the, the morals of or values of what they're trying to express, you know, things change over time, right? What we what we vibe with or why we vibe with it. Oh, I keep seeing all these things, but we're going to close. Thank you. Thank you. Um, triply thank you, uh, if any of you have gone over to Patreon too, or if you've been a part of that space for a while, thank you for joining the garden. Um, it's felt good to put a little, I've been putting a little extra energy over there too. Um, there's just such wonderful folks over there. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and if you're new here and like to check it out, feel free. There's a lot of, I do like astrology, uh, a lot of astrology whiteboard lessons because I like to learn. I'm a visual learner. I figure that helps. Um, and there's all kinds of folks with like different levels of that. It's just, it's nice. And we do pick a cards and 
good music, lots of transit talkings lately too. There's more astrology, I guess, over there than we do plant medicine also, but anyway, thanks so much, Taurus. Believe in yourself, okay? Right? You you can carve think of Michelangelo by by or David by Michelangelo, right? Carve that, so they say somebody carved that sculpture out of a solid piece of marble right it had to find the person within and in real life it, when you're really when you're really up close and personal with that it is it's miraculous it's it's almost it's almost indescribable how beautiful it is, you know? Please take care. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.